All right, looks like we're rolling. So welcome to the call, you guys. We're going to start in just a minute or two, just right at the top of the hour. I want to make sure we start on time for everybody tonight. Uh, this is Dr. Sean Talbot. I'm going to be handling uh, the whole shebang tonight. Pat is is off tonight. He's actually moving his uh, his daughter's family into uh, their new digs in, I think, South Carolina. I think they are. Um, so he's, he's busy doing probably lugging boxes up a stairway right now as we speak. So uh, <laughs> we have the easy job tonight. Um, so anyway, uh, we, I'm going to try to go through some of this um, uh, it w to try to leave enough time for questions at the end in case people have them. So let me just double check that everything's working right here. Looks like we're recording. Looks like it's just the top of the hour and hopefully everybody can see my slides. So um, I'm going to go through, give a scientific overview for everybody. And then uh, hopefully we'll have some, some time for questions towards the end. So thanks for, uh, thanks for joining in tonight. This is, this is the Tuesday night science overview call for Amari Global. And we are the mental wellness company. Uh, we're a company that's founded completely around this idea of helping people improve their mental wellness. So we're talking about mental wellness in a very holistic way, which I'm going to define in a second. But you can think of it, you know, any sort of mood that you might experience depression, anxiety, stress, burnout, brain fog, fatigue, uh, on the negative side, but then all the things on the positive side, like the ability to relax, the ability to have clear thinking, the ability to be motivated, the ability to be stress resilient, all that kind of stuff. Those are all sort of the, you know, the flip side of poor mental wellness or, or good solid mental wellness. And our whole reason for being here at Amari is to help you improve that. And there's lots of ways to skin that cat, so to speak. And we're gonna walk through how we do that scientifically. So the name of our company for people who are here for the first time, Amare, means to love. And we feel really strongly about this idea that people need to take care of themselves first. If you can get yourself in balance, if you can love yourself and get yourself in a better place, then you can pay that forward to other people and you can help others in a much more significant way if you've taken care of yourself first. So you'll see why we talk about it that way uh, as we go as we go through the presentation tonight. So here's the founding team, which I'm very lucky to be a part of. Uh, Hip Tran, our chief executive officer, Rich Higby, who's our head of sales, Mike Brown, our head of marketing, Mark Nguyen, who's our head of technology, and me, I'm head of the research. Um, yeah, I put these guys up here. I'm not going to try to um, tell you their stories. What I would invite you to do, uh, especially if this is your first time hearing our story, is go to amare.com. Um, go to the section that talks about the, about the company and about all the founders and, and listen to the story from, from each of us, right? We all have a very unique story about why we're pursuing this mental wellness uh, platform, why, we're, why we decided to form a whole company around this. We're the only company in the world who's focused exclusively on this area. And you know, sometimes we look at it and we go, why has no one done this before? It's such a big problem globally. And I'll show you some, some statistics for that in just a little bit, that, that someone needs to address it in a, in a very focused way. Uh, and so we're, we're gonna be the ones to do that. And we're hopefully gonna be the ones to lead the mental wellness revolution. Um, so here's me. I'm only going to leave this on here for a second. I hate the I hate the white lab coat look. Uh, I'd prefer much prefer to be in a t-shirt and shorts, and you're being the laboratory. So what have I got on tonight? I've got on trust your gut uh, Amari uh, gear. Um, so I'm a nutritional biochemist. That's that's what my PhD is in. So most of what I'm going to talk about tonight is from the perspective of how biochemistry changes our psychology. So, you know, one of the things that I'll talk about tonight is how we use the gut brain axis, how we use the bacteria in our gut to change the biochemistry of our body, change our neurotransmitters or change our inflammatory cytokines or change how our immune system communicates or change any of that, all, any of that biochemistry so that we can get a psychological Outcome. Because what a lot of people don't realize is that the reason we feel bad, the reason we feel, you know, bad mood or brain fog or fatigue or just feeling blah is because our biochemistry is out of whack. And if we can get that biochemistry rebalanced, we'll feel a lot better. And one of the key ways that we get that biochemistry out of an imbalanced state back to a balanced state is by normalizing what's happening in the gut, what we call the second brain, especially the microbiome part, the bacterial component of our gut. So that, that's, why, that's why you see that on the screen. So you can sort of see, you know, 
why I'm coming at it from the perspective I'm coming at it from. Um, one of the really, really cool things about what's happening right now in history, and that sounds a little grandiose when we say it that way, is that, but it's true, um, is that we've got a lot of really important um, scientific, societal, cultural changes that are all happening simultaneously at this point in time. And that makes it really exciting for people to at least pay attention to and see if it's something that makes sense for you, either to become involved with or to participate in or, or whatever. Um, but, but these things all center on this idea of timing. Timing, timing, timing. If Pat were here, he would talk from a business perspective of if you were in real estate, you would talk about three things, location, location, location. That's all that matters. In our business, in this idea of network marketing or, 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 or multi-level marketing, whatever you want to call it, right? This sort of peer-to-peer -peer sort of business, timing is what matters. Timing of you need to have something that has a massive need and there isn't any bigger problem in the world today than mental health issues. And I'll show you why we, why we, why we believe that in just a second. There's a social shift going on where these mental health issues have always been a big problem, but people, and they've always been getting worse, but people didn't want to talk about them because there was this sort of social stigma around that, right? You didn't want to talk about your stress. You didn't want to talk about your depression. You didn't want to talk about your anxiety or your burnout or any of that kind of stuff. You kept that a secret. And now there's a social shift going on where people are much more open about it. And that's really going to help us tell this story. People seem to be ready for exactly what Amari is offering. There's a new era in science. The, the, the science is changing so drastically in this area around mental wellness that it's fundamentally changing how we even think about what mental wellness even means in a, in a human body. And so that's mostly what I'm going to talk about tonight. And I'm going, to, I'm going to spend some time talking about how we take that science, that very cutting edge science, things we didn't even know about out three to five years ago, we're able to take that science now and build it into products so somebody can just pick up the product and say, I don't necessarily care about the nuances of the science, but I do want that benefit. So give me a product I can feel. Give me a product that I can very easily plug into the rest of my stressful life and deliver a benefit to myself. So so we're going we're gonna to talk about the products, obviously. And we're going to talk about the fact that we're a startup company. We've, we've only been selling products for not quite two years. Uh, September will be our two-year mark. So we're a year and a half-ish in selling products. And we already have thousands and thousands of customers around the United States that are getting the benefits of coming from a place that's low in mental wellness to a place that's high in mental wellness. And, and a lot of times that can quite literally change every aspect of your life. And I'll give you a perspective for what I mean by that as we go through. So when we talk about mental wellness, I, it, it's really important for us to frame this appropriately because because of the way that we've all been sort of trained for our entire life, as soon as we hear mental, even if it's associated with mental wellness, we interpret that in our brains as mental illness. And so people a lot of times will think that what Amari is doing is only talking to people about depression and anxiety and the sort of low side of what we call the mental wellness continuum. But this concept that you see on the screen right now, this, this, this one to 10 scale, this is the mental wellness continuum and everybody is on here somewhere. Some people certainly are at the low end, right? And, and they are having those depression, anxiety, burnout kinds of problems. A lot of people are in the middle, sort of maybe most people are in the middle where they don't have any problems per se. If you asked them, you know, you just talk to them on the street and you said, how are you doing? They would say, I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. They wouldn't say that they're great, but they wouldn't say that they have problems. They're just sort of in that gray zone of being kind of blah, you kind of fine, kind of okay, but they know they could be doing better. And then you have these people who are up in this, in this optimized zone. And this is actually where I started my career. After I got my PhD, I did a lot of high level sports performance work where we were looking to improve the mental performance of elite level athletes, Olympic training centers, US track and field association, US ski team, those kinds of athletes that might've been a nine on a scale of one to 10. But what we were trying to do is get them to be a 9.1 or a 9.2 
they could stand on the top step of the podium instead of barely qualifying for the finals or not even being at a World Cup event, right? It was that sort of, let's get the mind better so we can get more physical performance. So what we're doing and what I'm going to talk about tonight, this idea of modulating the gut-brain axis to improve mental wellness, those principles that I'm going to describe in a few minutes apply no matter where you are on this mental wellness continuum. But the, but, the, but the basket of benefits is gonna be a little bit different. For people who are here in the, in the low end of the mental wellness continuum, the conversation is really gonna be around, let's get you feeling normal again, right? Let's get you back to feeling like your old self. Let's give you some motivation. Let's give you some more energy. Let's give you a little bit better mood. Let's get you feeling normal again. The conversation for the people who were here in the middle, who I just described as being fine, the, the, the benefits that we're trying to deliver to them is to get them feeling amazing, get them to feel better than they've ever felt, get them to be feeling better than they've felt in years, get them to be feeling like they used to feel when they were younger and had all kinds of energy and could, you know, could go all night and then be energetic all day, right? That's the, that's the collection of benefits for these folks. And then the people who are optimized, it's like I described, you're trying to give them that little bit extra of an edge or for some of these people, you're trying to keep them in that optimized zone so that they don't start sliding down the mental wellness continuum and, 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 and sort of slide into burnout like so many people do when they're burning the candles at both ends and then they finally break. We're able up here in the optimized zone to improve things like stress resilience and ability to bounce back and ability to recover and, and, th and things like that. So the same principles apply, but the, but the conversation is different and the set of benefits is different depending on where you are on that mental wellness continuum. But as I get into the weeds of how we do that, what neurotransmitters we're changing and what species of bacteria we're changing and how we do all of that sort of mechanistically, it, it, keep in mind that it comes, it comes back to these three bullet points, that how you feel is not just in your head, it's also in your gut, that the second brain includes the microbiome, these bacteria that I'm going to talk about, and that, and that plays a major role in your mental wellness. Maybe the biggest of all the roles of anything that we've ever discovered scientifically is how that second brain, your gut, modulates what happens in your first brain. And the best part of all is that you can do something about it naturally. You can do a lot of something naturally to improve your mental wellness because we're learning from the science how to modulate all those different levers and all those different levels across the gut brain axis. And so that's what I'm going to talk about as we go through here. So let's talk about why, why we're doing this. You know, when we formed the company a couple of years ago, we wanted to focus on this area because it's, it's, if you look at the statistics, it is the biggest problem in the world today. It's not just an American problem. It's not just a North American problem. It is a global problem. So much of a global problem that, you know, here's the series, some of these statistics, I'm not going to go through all of them but so much of a global problem that the World Health Organization calls this the health epidemic of the 21st century. Whether it's labeled as stress or depression or anxiety or you, you know, whatever label you put on it, it's all in the same bucket of being on that mental wellness continuum. And the thing that is interesting about the timing of this is that I said earlier, this has always been a big problem. Mental wellness issues have always sort of been in the top 10 of global problems. Problems, and it's been ratcheting up. It, instead of 10, one year it would be nine, and then it would be eight, then it would be three. And we used to always tell people this area of health will be the biggest problem in the world by 2030, right? So it was a big problem, and it was getting worse and worse and worse over the years. But in the last couple of years, it has hockey stick. It has gotten really bad really fast. And so we used to tell people 2030, and actually, what is it now? It's 2019. The very beginning of 2017 is when it became the biggest problem in the world, right after Amari launched, right? So that's something that we'll certainly take advantage of, is, is being able to help all these literally hundreds of millions of people that spend, let me get to this next slide, hundreds of billions of dollars every single year on things that try to attempt to make us feel better or help us feel better, right? So what you see animating on the screen right now 
are things that we either get prescribed or we self-prescribe to take us from feeling lower on that mental wellness continuum than we want to feel to try to get us to feel higher and 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 or higher on the on the mental wellness uh, continuum not necessarily higher you know like a like a narcotic effect, although some of these have those kinds of effects. But what ends up happening a lot of times with these sorts of solutions, they're not the right tool for the job. Because if we're looking at, and science is telling us that most of the problems that we're facing today as a modern society are because we're out of balance in our gut and in our immune system and in our inflammatory profile and in our neurotransmitter balance, these kinds of things. So imbalances across the gut brain axis, these kinds of things don't address that. Or if they address all, they address it in a very, very isolated fashion, not a holistic fashion that we need. And so the end result is that what you end up getting is something that takes you from feeling bad to feeling differently bad instead of taking you from feeling bad to feeling good. And what we want people to realize is that we can get you from wherever you are on that mental wellness continuum to feel better and then more better and then more better and then more better. And then pretty soon you can't believe that you feel as good as you feel. And want to share that with other people. That's our objective. And that's what we've been doing for the last year and a half. Um, so that's the sort of problem side of it, right? It's a big problem. It affects lots and lots of people. And the existing solutions are very inadequate for the job, which is to get us feeling good again. Um, one good thing that is happening is what I mentioned before, this, this cultural change or this social shift that's happening, where this area is starting to become a little less stigmatized. People are more comfortable talking about it. And look at some of the people who are actively talking about it, right? We've got, we've got sports heroes, we've got recording artists, we've got, we've got actors, we've got all kinds of people who are coming out and talking about their own personal challenges with mental wellness issues, depression and anxiety and brain fog and feelings of, of worthiness and, 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 and all of that. And that's great because it gives the rest of everybody the permission to say, hey, I'm in that same, I'm in that same camp, right? That's, that's something that affects me as well. And I'm gonna talk about it. And I'm gonna be open about it. And I'm gonna look for natural solutions. And when I start feeling better, I'm gonna share that story with other people to try to help them. So, so that's something that, you know, Amari can't control this kind of thing, but we'll certainly take advantage of it. And we'll certainly, you know, partner with these kinds of people. Let, let, me, let, let me go back to tell you one thing. Look at what Oprah announced a couple of months ago. Oprah, you know, who, who's somebody who, is, who has always been sort of a, you know, a leading light for so many people in terms of taking care of yourself and listening to your own emotions and things like that. She talks about her own challenges with these mental wellness issues. And about two or three months ago, she announced that she's gonna be partnering with Prince Harry in the UK to, to co-develop a multi-part documentary series on mental health. And that's gonna air on Apple's new um, media platform, right? So it doesn't get any more high profile than Oprah, the, the Prince of England um, and Apple, right? I mean, <laughs> think about that, right? That's something that is absolutely amazing. And Amari has products that fit exactly in to, uh, to a significant portion of helping people move up and, 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 and feel better and, you know, become a better version of themselves. So the, the rest of what I'm going to talk about tonight is going to be science. And, and this is what gets me really, really excited is that the science is changing so dramatically from what we used to think for the, literally for the last 100 or 200 years, we have thought and, and fairly logically thought, if we're sensing something here in the brain, we're sensing sadness, we're sensing stress, we're sensing tension or irritability or whatever, um, that if, if it was sensed in the brain, the dysfunction or the imbalance must be in the brain. That was very logical. And that's what, you know, because we didn't know any better. And that's what's led to the whole class of these drugs, SSRIs, like Prozac style drugs, many of them that you saw animating a few slides ago. The, and, and, you know, the, the, all the antidepressants are in this category. All the anti-anxieties are in this category. The sleep drugs are somewhat in this category, but they're actually in another category called, called amnesiacs or, or sometimes tranquilizers. Uh, all the ADD drugs are in this category, working it on neurotransmitter balance in the brain. And that's still something that we want to do, right? There's still natural approaches for us to improve blood flow, to improve neuron activation, to improve 
neurotransmitter balance in the brain. So the brain is still an important target for us, but it's not the only solution. And, and if you take a broader view, if you step back and say, wait a minute, is it really all happening in the brain? We realize that the new science is telling us no. In fact, most of these signals are happening outside of the brain. And the brain is just getting those signals from other places in the body, chiefly from the second brain, chiefly from the gut and the bacteria that reside in the gut, what we call the microbiome. That's where 90% of your serotonin is coming from. That's the neurotransmitter sort of of, of, of happiness. 70% um, of your dopamine, the neurotransmitter of motivation, is coming from your gut. Most of your norepinephrine that helps with focus, most of your GABA that helps with relaxation, uh, other signaling molecules like inflammatory cytokines, like short-chain fatty acids, are all coming from the gut. And so most of those signals that your brain is receiving and interpreting as a good mood or a bad mood are starting in the gut. And so the science is telling us to, 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 to sort of pan out from this, this exclusive focus on the brain, pan out and now focus on two brains, the brain in the head and the brain in the gut, rebalance both of those and then get them to talk to each other. And that's this concept of whether we call it the mind gut connection or we call it the gut brain axis. That's what we're doing here at Amari. We're the first ones that are really using the gut brain axis and modulating the signaling across the gut brain axis in order to move you up that mental wellness continuum. And the reason that we do it is because that's the new science. The reason that we do it is because that's the way to do it most effectively. And the reason that we do it is because that's the way to do it the most holistically and comprehensively. So you feel better in a variety of different ways. And I'll show you some specific data that proves that out in just a second. Okay, so second brain and microbiome is really where the new cutting edge science is at. And, and that has that in itself is leading to a whole other national conversation around you know, one national conversation being mental wellness is a big deal in the world, and the other national conversation around microbiome is affecting every aspect of physical health, mental health, mental wellness, psychological performance. And the thing that's interesting is that those are the same national conversation. We're trying to stitch those conversations together and get people to realize that they're both coming out of different fields of science, but they're actually driving towards the same end benefit. And if we stitch them together the right way, we can get people to feel as good as they've ever felt before. So now we can talk about how we actually do that. So it really comes down to when we're talking about the microbiome, if it's out of balance, you're gonna feel bad. And if it's in balance, you're gonna feel good. So what do I mean by out of balance, in balance? Generally, what we're talking about is when it's out of balance, you have too many bad bacteria sending the wrong kinds of signals, chiefly inflammatory kinds of signals. When you don't have enough good bacteria, the reason good bacteria are good is because they're producing the kinds of bioactive chemicals that make us feel better. The things that I mentioned before, serotonin, and dopamines and you know those sorts of things. So think about that. If you had not enough of the good signals and too many of the bad signals, you're going to be out of balance and you might feel fatigued, you might feel sad, you might feel tense, you might feel hungry and be craving junk food all the time. Those are all signals that are coming out of your gut and are being interpreted and, and translated basically by the brain in your head. And so Knowing that, we can go into the gut, we can go right to the level of the microbiome now because of these new changes in science, and we can say, hmm, how can we get you more good bacteria and less bad bacteria? And by doing that, now that you have more good bacteria, you have more and stronger and more holistic signals around feeling better and you have less signals around feeling bad. You also have some of those inflammatory compounds that the bad guys make, will block some of the good signals that the good guys make. So if you can do both, get more good signals and less bad signals, you can actually get a very pronounced improvement in how people feel. So that's how we do that. And, you know, that sounds to most people who, have, who are hearing it for the first time, it sounds like science fiction, that you can change the bacteria your gut and that can change how you feel. It can literally change your behavior because your motivation is better 
and your cravings are different and your stress resilience is better and your ability to relax in the face of tension is improved, right? So that change of bacteria changing how you feel and perform that sounds like science fiction, but we know that it's true because of the science. If, 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 you know, think about this. We've known for a long time, pre being able to measure it scientifically, that signals from the gut affected how we, how we feel. That's why we get words like this, like gut feelings. You get a gut sensation about something, that's a signal from the gut going to the brain. How about when you feel sick to your stomach? That's maybe stress sending a signal down to your gut and you're feeling nauseous as a result of that. So these signals go both ways. It's a bi-directional communication from one brain to the other brain. Microbiome plays a, plays a very, very important um, a very, very important part in that. And then how the signals go back and forth is this axis. So some of the signals start in the gut, go to the brain. Some of the signals start in the brain, go to the gut, and they're carried across this redundant overlapping communication network. Some of it w involves the nervous system. Some, it in some of it involves neurotransmitters and hormones and cytokines, these chemicals that go through the bloodstream. And some of it involves direct cell to cell communication. So for example, your immune system that is about 70% of your immune system is in your gut, but the rest of it is distributed throughout the rest of your body. That immune system can talk to the microbiome cells and get information. And then almost like, the, like a cellular pony express can carry that information up to the glial cells in the brain and carry that information to your thyroid gland or to your pancreas or to your adrenal or to wherever that signal needs to get so that the, the, the whole body is being communicated with and, and between. It's a, it's, a, it's a really interesting aspect. And we actually here at Amare, we consider the axis to be a third target across the gut-brain axis. So when you see how we develop our products, there's things we do for the target of the gut there's things we do for the target of the brain, and there's things we do for the target of the axis in between. And when you can get the communication optimized and efficient across that three-tiered system, you can, you can improve mental wellness and you can eventually improve physical health. And we'll talk about how we do that in just a second. Well, we'll talk about that, how we do that right now, because here's an infographic that it illustrates a little bit of, of where the science is going by modulating gut bacteria and how that can improve virtually every aspect of human health. You know, one of the things that's really, really cool about how the science is changing is that we're, 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 we're just starting to think not so much about the human and the bacteria as these separate things, but rather we're starting to think about the human and the bacteria as this super organism. Right? Because in your human body, you have about 10 trillion human cells. In your bacteria, in your, in your microbiome, you have about 100 trillion bacterial cells. So on a cellular basis, we're, we're, we're more bacteria than we are human. We're 90% bacteria and 10% human cells. When we look at it on a genetic, genetic basis, we're actually less than 1% human. 99 point something percent of the DNA in our bodies is bacterial DNA. And the thing that's exciting about that is that that bacterial DNA can communicate with the human DNA to yield, to, 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 to yield effects like what you see on the screen right now. Real, important, dramatic, positive or negative changes in our overall physical health. And so think about this. If we could change what the microbiome structure and function looks like with the right probiotic supplements, with the right prebiotic fibers, with the right phytobiotic phytonutrients, plant extracts, change the microbiome to a more positive direction, get better signals coming out to the rest of our body, we can have a positive impact on all of these health conditions. And, and that, that, that's why I show you this, this infographic that's drawn from clinical trials that, are, that, are, that are, have been done and many that are ongoing to show that, if we, if, that, that, that this communication happens throughout the entire body. Let's, let's, let's leave it there. Um, you know, I do, I do deep dive um, uh, seminars sometimes where like, I might talk about this concept for an entire hour and really get into the weeds of, you know, well, how does the microbiome change 
metabolism and lead to positive or negative effects in obesity? in diabetes or how does it change signaling across the gut brain axis in a in a situation like autism or adhd or something like that so i'm not going to do that tonight i just want to give you a flavor for how important these changes in science really are for our overall health and performance it's it, it, it's it, it's so dramatically changing that we're starting to think of human health like this like a like a three-tiered system where if we want to get changes in the body first have to get changes in the brain. And if we're getting changes in the brain, if we want to get changes in the brain, we have to get changes in the biome. So if we start, and if we think of this sort of step by step by step, if we start in the biome first, get the right signals going out to the brain so we feel better, people are going to continue doing that thing because they want to keep feeling better. And if they continue doing that thing, they eventually see these body changes. Their physical health improves, where their metabolism improves, where their appetite changes, you know, where their where their motivation to exercise changes, things like that. So we'll give you we'll give you some ideas on that as we go through here too. So I mentioned before that Amari is a startup, right? We're 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 not even been selling products for two years yet, you know, year and a half or so, and we've already gotten lots and lots of industry accolades, which is which is lovely. Um, this product, Mood Plus, which I'll say a few words. Uh, uh, about in just a few minutes. This is the most comprehensive mood support product on the market. Um, it's, it, it helps with depression and anxiety and stress, and it very uniquely improves stress resilience. And that's all in one product. And that's why it was a finalist for Botanical of the Year last year. Uh, Amari Global, the whole company, was a finalist for Startup of the Year in 2018 and in 2019. I don't think there's been uh, any company that's been uh, nominated for startup of the year two years in a row, uh, but Amari has. Um, and so, you know, we're growing so fast. I don't think we'll be eligible to be a, considered a startup uh, by 2020, but, but, but that's great. Let me go back real quick. Um, we've also had a, um, our, our kids fundamentals product was a finalist for probiotic of the year this year in 2019. And then this product, the adult version of our fundamental system actually won this award in 2018 called the Nutra Award. It's given to the single best finished product across the entire natural products industry. So it's never been given to a startup before. So we, we felt very proud uh, to be nominated. And then when we won, you know, you can see that you can see the, the, the criteria for the award here, but the judges made a big, big deal about the fact that this, we've established an entirely new category of using the gut brain axis to improve mental wellness and to improve physical health. So, you know, the judges thought that because the science is changing so dramatically in that particular area, it made sense to, to make a big deal about that because it's something that in the natural products industry, that category is going to be growing and growing and growing for, for, for decades to come. So, you know, what's in this pack? In this pack are three separate products. One product for the gut called Mentabiotics, one product for the brain called Mentafocus, and one product for the axis in between called Mentasync. Now, each of these products was developed separately to stand on its own. So if you took just Mentabiotics, you would feel better. You'd get a change across your gut-brain axis, and you'd move up the mental wellness continuum. Same for Mentafocus, you would feel better. Same for Mentasync, you would feel better. But you'd feel better in different ways because they're working in different parts of that gut-brain axis. We thought it would be a great idea, and by winning the Nutra Award, we were, we were, we were right <laughs> that it was good idea to, to, to sort of kit them together in a single pack because of the coordinated nature of the gut brain axis and how those signals travel between the two brains. And so, you know, when we did that, we did a clinical trial to show what would happen when somebody supplemented with this for one month period of time. And so I've done a whole deep dive where I go into all the nitty gritty of, of what you see on the screen right now, which is just a snapshot of what the clinical trial found. But when we recruited people, who are kind of in the middle of that mental wellness continuum, right? People who didn't necessarily have a problem, but people who certainly had stress, people who had tension, people who had fatigue, people who wanted to feel better. When we supplemented them with a fundamentals pack for one month, just having them use it as directed and compared them to a control 
control group, a placebo group. This is what we found. On the left-hand side of the slide, what you're seeing is uh, changes in their microbiome. So 28% higher lactobacillus, 30% higher bifidobacterium. Those are two classes of, of different kinds of good bacteria, but they're good for different reasons. And so that's why we measure them separately. You're seeing a 17% higher overall composite score, which is kind of a snapshot of the average across the entire microbiome. What are the good guys doing? What are the bad guys doing? What does your gut integrity look like? What are your bacterial ratios look like? That number to change 17% improvement in 30 days is a really, really big change in a small amount of time. So, so that's wonderful, right? Bacteria look a lot better. Your microbiome is better. Your gut is a lot stronger and a lot more resilient, a lot more diverse. But what people really care about isn't so much that. That is a means to an end. And the end is what you see on the right-hand side. You feel better. And what you notice here is a couple of important things. You can see that people feel better. Tension is down, depression is down, anger is down, fatigue is down, confusion is down, positive mood state like vigor is up significantly. And so what this tells us is that, yep, people felt better as a result of this positive change in their microbiome, but interestingly and uniquely, they felt holistically better. And so, you know, when we do this kind of work, sometimes you can see that people will feel better because because their tension is lower, right? If their tension is down, they're gonna feel better. But here what you're seeing is it's not just tension or just depression or just anger, it's all of this. They're feeling better in a very holistic way that you could say is more like an improvement in, in overall well-being. And that, and that index also improves. And, and the, the reason we can get that, such a holistic change, is because we're changing the microbiome. So you can think of this. If you have a better microbiome, you have better signals. You have better production of serotonin. So your depression is going to go down. You have a better production of norepinephrine. So your confusion is gonna go down. You have a better production of, of what? Of GABA. So your tension is gonna go down, right? So the fact that you're getting a better sort of internal pharmacy and the, the natural production of those, of those systemic um, uh, bioactive chemicals, you're gonna feel better in a very holistic way. So that's something that we were not able to do that sort of an intervention in people as little as three to five years ago. We didn't even know if we could really do it until we did this clinical trial, right? This is really, really new thinking around how we get people to feel better. And Amari is the only company that's doing that. So then the question becomes, wow, that's great. How do you do that? Like, how in the world can you get that level of microbiome change and that level of psychological change or mood state change in such a small amount of time? Well, the reason we can get it is because we have the, we have the, the luck, I guess, of having started just at the same time that the science is changing. So we're able to look at the cutting edge science and say, huh, if we wanted to improve how somebody feels and we want to do it through the level of the microbiome, what bacteria can do that? What fibers can do that? What plant extracts can do that? So we're able to look right at the new science and get that thing and put it into our new product and launch it. That's why you haven't heard of this approach before because the science is new, the company is new, these products are new, right? That's, that's why we're talking about them tonight. So here's how we do it on the probiotic side. We use three specific strains that have been clinically validated for this one for stress, this one for anxiety, and this one for depression. So think about this. You know, each one of these, Lactobacillus rhamnosus R0011, I could give you just that one and knowing that it lowers stress hormones like cortisol and it increases um, uh, neurotransmitters like GABA that can help us relax when we're tense, I could give you just that one and you'd feel better. But the better would be mostly related to stress and tension, right? You'd still feel better, but that's only one slice of, of what we talk about when we, when we really want to talk about this mental wellness continuum. I could give you just this one, Bifidobacterium longum, R0175, and you would feel better 
in terms of more calmness, less anxiety, better mental focus, right? Those are all better aspects of mental wellness, but just a slice. And same thing with Lacto-Helveticus 52, that you'd feel better in terms of mood because it's changing your serotonin and it's reducing your inflammation, which are both related to depression. So we give you all three of those in the same cocktail so that you feel better holistically. You feel better in terms of stress and anxiety and depression. And we could have stopped there. We could have put in these, I mean, these are bacteria are small, right? Obviously we can't see them with our naked eye. We could put all of these in a tiny little capsule and give you that and you'd feel better pretty holistically, right? Three different types of mood state, but we want to do even better than that, right? So before I go on to how we do even better than that, let me just make one more point that's important. The reason we can get these sorts of benefits with probiotics is because we're using specific strains. Um, there's a there's a concept in, with probiotic science that's called probiotic specificity or specificity of benefits, meaning that not all probiotics are going to deliver these kinds of benefits. Some probiotics can help with immune system function. Some probiotics can help with constipation or digestion or diarrhea or yeast infections or there's a whole bunch of reasons that you might want to supplement with probiotics. But in order to do that effectively, you have to know what benefit you're looking for, and then you have to know what strain delivers that benefit. Here, we're going right down to the strain level and saying, what strain can help people feel better in these, in these different ways? We're gonna choose those different strains. If you didn't know the strain, and I'll tell you what, 90% of the products on the market today don't even tell you the strain. And so you have no idea what, what it's doing, if it's doing anything in your body. You might, you might be looking for one to help your diarrhea and you've chosen one that helps your constipation, right? That's an opposite effect of what you were looking for, right? So that's a really, really important concept that most products don't even, don't even alert you to. So, so we do that, but we don't just stop there. We go the next level and say, huh, we can give you the back bacteria, but is there a way that we can enhance the effect of the bacteria? Yes, we can give you prebiotics. So the probiotic is the bacteria. The prebiotic is the fiber that the bacteria is going to use as a fuel source. It's going to help the bacteria grow better. It's going to help the bacteria be able to produce those bioactive chemicals like the GABAs and the serotonins and the dopamines that are going to make us feel better. So that's the reason for combining them. But you can't combine just any old prebiotic with any old probiotic. So we start off by choosing prebiotics that have known benefits. Each one of these has known benefits in humans for improving stress resilience, basically making people be able to handle stress better. It's not reducing your stress necessarily, but it's enabling you we're getting that from the probiotics, but it's enabling you, stress resilience is enabling you to handle the stress and, and bounce back from the stress and, and make strategic decisions in the face of that stress a lot better than you did pre-supplementation. And so we use, we use one called, sun, uh, called isofiber, one called bimuno, and one called sunfiber. And the reason we use three different ones is similar to the reason that we're using three different probiotic strains, they all have slightly different structures and they work in slightly different ways. For example, they do this. We match up the fiber with the bacteria that's gonna use it as a fuel source, right? So we're giving the, we're giving the bacteria its preferred food in a, in a, in a sense, right? Um, and that makes the efficiency of the growth and the function of those bacteria a lot better than they would be if we didn't give you the prebiotics. So we can give you the probiotics, you'd feel better. We could give you the prebiotics and you'll feel better. We could give you them both together and you'll feel better in that holistic way, which we demonstrated in our clinical trial. And then Amari is doing something else that really is something that we're pioneering in the marketplace. Um, nobody else is doing this, which we refer to sometimes as, as phytobiotics, sometimes we refer to it as protobiotics, but it's the concept of using plant extracts to have an effect across the entire gut-brain axis. Sometimes that effect is at the level of the microbiome, helping the bacteria, the good guys eat 
grow better or um, not necessarily killing the bad bacteria, but making the environment in the gut less hospitable for their growth. We also have effects on gut integrity. We have effects on inflammation. We have effects on immune system signaling in the axis. We have effects on neurotransmitter balance and blood flow in the brain. So these plant extracts can help modulate gut-brain axis signaling, and as a result of that, help further improve you on the mental wellness continuum. So this is something that, that Amari's filed patents all around the globe to protect this idea and it's something that we're, with, that we're continuing to explore and continuing to, to innovate on. So all of these data that I'm talking about here have, have been presented at a wide range of different scientific conferences across 2018. And we just got um, a, science, a peer reviewed scientific publication in a journal called Functional Foods for Health and Disease. And people can go to that journal website right now and download the paper uh, and see the scientific manuscript of that snapshot where I showed you earlier, change the microbiome, change your, change your outlook basically, change your behavior uh, with, that, with that mental wellness continuum change. So, uh, and then we do the same exact thing for kids. Uh, and we do it in, in just a slightly different way. This is one product that's naturally sweetened, naturally flavored, instead of three unflavored products in the adult formula. But we're using the same strains of bacteria, the same, uh, the same um, um, structures of fiber, the same phytonutrients, the same everything is in this kid's product. And this is the one that was a finalist this year for probiotic year because it takes that very holistic approach um, and focuses it towards improving mental wellness. So we do that for kids as well. And we do it for kids because, I mean, let's face it, kids have as much or more stress than any of us had when, when we were their age, right? And so we want our kids to be able to be, you know, all the things I've already talked about, resilient and tension and good mood and high energy and good focus and all of that kind of stuff. We want to have that in our kids when they're facing the stresses of, of, of their day, which is a lot different than the stresses, you know, that we had when we were their age. So anyway, so, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to um, sort of wrap up the, the, the fundamentals discussion on this slide. Um, what we do in this slide deck, which everybody watching right now has access to, you can go to my blog site, you can go to the amari.com website, and you can download these exact slides that I'm using right now and use them for your own education. You can share them with other people. You can use them when you do presentations to other groups of people, whatever you want to do, they're there for your use to, to help us spread this message. One of the reasons that Fundamentals is different is that it's so comprehensive. It, it, it addresses each of the areas that could potentially be out of balance across the gut brain axis. And so, you know, you're looking at microbiome modulation and improvement of gut integrity and improvement of immune system signaling and improvement of inflammatory balance and improvement of neurotransmitter signaling. And you need that hierarchy because a lot of times you don't know where your imbalance is. You know that you don't feel as good as you want to. You know that you're lower on that mental wellness continuum than you'd like to be, and you want to be higher, but you don't know if you're low because of a neurotransmitter issue, or because of an immune system issue, or because of a microbiome issue, or a gut integrity issue. So our approach is let's make sure that all of that is rebalanced. Let's make sure that all of that signaling is efficient across the entire gut brain axis. And as a result of that, that's why so many people feel so much better in such a short period of time is because it's such a holistic approach. Okay. So that I think that one slide that you see on the screen right now um, sums it all up. Like, why is this different than other probiotics? Why is this different than, you know, something that something else that I might take like a like a like a CBD or something like that, right? Because it's so comprehensive in how it and how it functions. Um, so, so what I want to do now is I'm gonna I'm just gonna click through the next bunch of slides just to give you a flavor for some of the other products that we have. We've got a whole. So I just talked about four products, the three products in in adult fundamentals: Mentabiotics, Mentafocus, Mentasync and then kids fundamentals. We've got 19 products in our product line right now. So 15 more products. And I'm not gonna talk about any of them in, in any detail. I do a whole hour 
on mood plus, a whole hour on relief plus, a whole hour on sleep plus. So if you want the nitty gritty, you can either go to our amari.com website and watch a short video to give you the highlight. You can look at a product information page, two pages to give you the highlights of the research. You can look at a technical data sheet to give you a deeper dive into the research. You know, for mentabiotics, it's, it's gotta be 50 or 60 pages of research. Um, you can look at our clinical trial. You can look at any of our deep dives that you can find at my website, which is seantalbot.com, or you can go to where a lot of you 